hi everyone so this was my birthday and i was born in june 6 so this was my birthday and i did go out with my family just to have a date and to chill and to enjoy at a place around the Reslam. Uh, it's called the happening place and honestly speaking i enjoyed everything so yeah that's me having my moment and it is time for the dragon dessert come on i love that dessert three days later welcome back again to my channel if you're new kindly subscribe to this channel if you're in the family well, welcome back again so today we have another video and it's a vlog and i'm going to take you around kampala yes currently i'm in kampala i came here for the uh, under 18 tournament uh, uganda tanzania and rwanda so we're going to have our tournament uh, throughout the week and also i came for my sport medicine short course which is going to start soon so the reason why i'm doing it uh this video today i just want to show you around the place that i'm at and everything else so we're going to talk more uh throughout the vlog so take your cup and take a drink and let's go and enjoy the video behind me there's a tv and a small table which I use here and here we have a mirror you can see me on my back <laughs> that's my back here I don't it's a little bit clumsy and all that but yeah and here we have a window here one window and there's a lot of light outside so I'm gonna take you on another side of this channel here we have a space where the, the clothes and the stars, the blah blah, the look as much. And if we meet there, we have a washroom. Let me show you. So, we are out and about, and uh, I cannot say much about me vlogging this vlog, which is unplanned. But yeah, we are done with the food. <laughs> So, Let's probably go. today your favorite doctor is going to take you around Kampala, probably, but I'm not sure if I'll vlog or not, so, yeah. Before I proceed to show you guys some places around Uganda, let me show you uh, the time that we were in Kampala city and we were going to the hotel that we were supposed to go we took some time and we were just taking a moment because we were all new to the place it's not our country so we had to move around At this point we were almost uh, close to the hotel so I'm going to write the name of the hotel uh, on the screen because at this moment I don't remember the name of the hotel and this is Kampala Kampala have so many people and this area had so many many things happening at the same time and this was reminding me uh my home it was reminding me of tanzania a place called kariako but at the same time this was very big because so many things were happening at the same place day two
Look at that. So many cars and so many people at the same time. I think I was from downtown and I was just going around the city to just see what exactly is within the city. The I don't even remember the names of the roads. At this time I was with a team and the team was having a rehearsal or pre-exercises before the match in the evening so I was just chilling and listening to good music and that day I did not go to class so my duty was to be with the girls and to support them. It was not easy to get uh, a lot of videos of myself since I was so busy and my priority was taking care of my little angels who were playing basketball. Many months later, Brown Junior got an opportunity to go to Kampala, Uganda, specific for training and I did go with a national team of young female so I was a doctor for this young female athletes and I really loved the experience because it was so engaging I've never involved myself in sports medicine and this was the first time that I'm going uh, with a national team because I've never done it before it was scary and also exciting so in Uganda this training was involving female doctors from countries let me read them down here Burundi, Egypt, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Rwanda, Somalia, Sudan, South Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda. So these were the these were the countries which were involved in the training. So we had an amazing, amazing time with the uh, uh, trainers from Uganda, from Tanzania, and. Uh, it was just so beautiful because we are learning about anatomy again and we are learning about the nerve supply and we are learning about emergencies which happen during the court and for somebody like me who have not even played basketball but being being trained uh, about the rules and everything which is supposed to be done during the match so to me it was fascinating and interesting so in Uganda, we did not have much time to go around Uganda, but since we we're so busy in the morning, you go to class and in the afternoon you have the match. So you're supposed to be there with the kids and you're supposed to monitor them to see them in case anything happens. So I didn't get enough chance to go to Uganda, but I will definitely go back to Uganda because yo, that country is beautiful. I'm not lying. That country is beautiful and they are blessed with so many greeny greeny things like the bananas there are so big like this the fruit there are so big like this everything was fascinating and honestly speaking i was like this like this every time i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking because it is just so beautiful and perfect I cannot wait again to go back to uganda the tournament was happening around lugogo stadium and 
I don't even know where Lugogo Stadium is, but it is in Kampala. Yeah, Lugogo Stadium is in Kampala and we had like a whole four, four or five days of matches going on and the kids were just jumping all over the place, just playing the basketball. Trust me, I was not a fan, a big fan of basketball and did not know much about basketball, but I got an opportunity to know about basketball. So that is basically what I did during uh, this trip. It was a very successful trip. But I think I should share uh, this information in another video because there's a lot to share. And for now, let's just end this video here. Thank you for watching, for liking, for subscribing to my channel. For subscribing to my channel. And thank you for just being a part of the family. I love you. Till next time.